Hi, I'm Perry. This is Emerson Butor from AmericanaBJJ.com, and he's going to help me show the Americana. I know most of you probably know how to do the Americana, but I'm going to show you a few details that you may, might not be familiar with. It might make it a little easier for you. So the same story in side control. When, when you're in side control, you want to be as high up as possible when you do the, the Americana. I'm really almost over his face, basically. If I try to do an Americana down here when I'm over his belly and he bridges, it really, it really affects me a lot. Okay? So you want to be as high up as possible. Especially when you're high up, if you put your foot out when he bridges, Bridge, it really does not affect me. Okay, so this is the this is the way we do it. He's got his arm here. Usually they'll be grabbing your, your lapel. I'm gonna squeeze his elbow, just superior to his elbow, actually his triceps tendon between my ulna and my bicep. Squeeze, and I'm gonna do a cutting motion like this. At the same time, I'm gonna put my shoulder on the ground, step out with my hand and leg. And that breaks the grip. Again, here. That makes the grip. Now I'm going to lead with my elbow, put my elbow on the ground next to his ear, put my weight on my elbow, grab his wrist and figure four, back up, pull everything in, and then I'm going to flex both wrists like I'm revving a motorcycle. So there's a bump with both wrists. The hairy part of each wrist is facing me and there's a bump. Apply the Americana. If he has really loose shoulders, you might have to do the more traditional method. On top of that, it looks like that. But once you do this kind of flexing, because you really not, you don't, wouldn't have to move the hand very far. I can't turn it in because he's already tapped. Okay. One more time. Here. Squeeze and cut as you put your shoulder on the ground and step out with your leg in your hand. This is very powerful. You might think, well, I can get rolled here, but I have so much base here, here, and here, and here. I'm putting my weight this direction towards the top of his head. I'm laying my belly over his face. Now, when I do this, I have my thumb up. By having the thumb up here, uh, straighten your arm. Straighten your arm. He cannot straighten his arm. It's very hard for him to straighten out his arm. Um, if you want to be nicer about it, then you turn your palm up and squeeze it like that. It doesn't hurt as much. But if you really want to immobilize the arm, you, you keep it where it is. Thumb up. Grab here. Get the elbow tight against the, el the ear. On the ground, all your weight is on that elbow. Pull everything back. I have my base here. I rev the motorcycle. Apply the submission. Okay. Okay. Okay, so this is one common problem I'm sure you've experienced if you do the Americana. Is I go for the Americana and he turns to his left, and then it's very hard to finish. You know, he can get his fingers together or whatever. It's very hard to finish the Americana here. He puts weight on his elbow. So I can crank this, but it's not enough. So all you have to do is move to the left and then sprawl your left leg. What that does is that puts his left shoulder, or excuse me, his right shoulder, his near shoulder in terms of me to me, on the ground. I'm gonna arch my belly and then apply the Americana. Because to do a good Americana, you really want the near shoulder on the ground. This is the one that really determines uh, uh, if, the, if the submission's gonna work. So again, if, I, if I'm going for the Americana, and I, he turn, turns to his left, I'm gonna move to my left. Even if he grips his hands together, gets his fingers together, I'm gonna move to my left. I will break it with my belly and sprawl out, arch my back, and at sort of a, a corner pin type of position, and apply the Americana. I still have base out here with my leg, okay? I can go all the way here if I want, but it's not usually necessary if you Move your whole body all the way up there. One last time. Turn your left. Okay, give that a try. Okay, common problem number two. <laughs> so I go from the Americana, I leave my elbow out, and he pushes it into my face, and he rolls me. That was fun. Or if he doesn't roll me, he pushes on my elbow, and he pulls his arm out. Okay? So it's very important, I kind of mentioned this when I was doing, when I was describing the technique before, but just to put a finer point on it. When you go for the Americana, you never want to have your elbow out. You never want to be in this position. No matter what kind of Americana you're going for, you never want that. You always want to keep your elbow in. So I never show him the underside of my elbow, which he can push into my face. I always show him the outside of my elbow. Because if you push it on the outside of my elbow, it doesn't affect me. Okay, so when you go for the Americana, I'm going to bring my elbow first. I don't let him get to the underside of my elbow. Inside of my elbow. Go. Up. 